<laughs> New episodes of All American return Monday, January 23rd. Now at 10, tens of thousands of people still in the dark after a deadly earthquake strikes Northern California. The latest on the damage, the aftershocks, and the injuries. Plus travel trouble if you're heading out of town for the holidays. A massive storm called a bomb cyclone could impact your plans. What the airlines are doing to ease the stress. And rideshare drivers targeted by scammers hoping to steal money right out of their bank accounts. How they're doing it now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. At least two people have died after a strong earthquake rocked the coast north of San Francisco and caused moderate damage. The 6.4 magnitude quake has triggered dozens of aftershocks as well as California's earthquake warning system. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade here in studio with new details. MB. Yes, and Mike and Chair, residents in this area say that this is one of the strongest they have felt in decades. The quake caused widespread damage. Several homes have been deemed not suitable for occupation. And now dozens of residents are forced to find other housing only days before Christmas. Damage, death, and devastation after a 6.4 earthquake rocks Humboldt County in a rural stretch of Northern California. You know, I thought the world was coming unhinged. Woke me up violently, jumped out of bed, uh, and just heard this roaring. My phone started going off saying there was an earthquake. The USGS says the quake struck around 2.30 Tuesday morning, jolting people awake and cutting off power to 70,000. Most still without power tonight. The earthquake early warning system, which is the new system that we have, um, uh, was able to actually push out um, alerts uh, 10 seconds in advance of the earthquake. Officials say it gave 3 million residents precious seconds to take cover or get to a safe spot prior to the quake, which was centered just off the Pacific coast near the communities of Ferndale and Eureka. It did not feel like a 6.4 earthquake. It felt way bigger. Homes are rocked off their foundations, debris strewn throughout communities, and merchandise knocked off shelves. My husband and I laid in bed and held hands and wrote it out. A section of the Fern Bridge in Ferndale cracked and will remain closed until Caltrans can conduct safety inspections. The Humboldt County Sheriff says a 72-year-old and 83-year-old died when emergency responders couldn't get them appropriate medical care in time, and another 12 were injured. The small city of Rio Dell is said to be the hardest hit. Many homes and businesses have now been red-tagged and boarded up. We don't know the extent yet of the damage, but we do have a broken window and several cracks in the building and lots of stuff down on the inside. Rio Del residents are expected to be without water for the next 24 to 48 hours because of a busted water line. Was shooting water through. It was like a five foot wide stream running down Center Street. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. USGS officials predict residents could be in for another jolt. There is approximately a 13% chance uh, within the next week of a magnitude five or larger. Just in Rio Dell, city officials expect about 50 to 150 people to be displaced by the earthquake. And no doubt residents are still on edge tonight with more than 80 aftershocks. One as strong as a 4.6. Michael, I'll send it back to you. Mary Beth, thank you. Cleanup efforts are underway tonight after nearly two dozen train cars derailed in the Inland Empire. The Union Pacific train derailed on the east side of Victorville near Stoddard Wells and Highway 18. The cars were carrying iron ore. About half of them tumbled onto their sides. No one was hurt, and the track remains closed to traffic. It's unknown when it will reopen. Authorities are looking into the cause of the derailment tonight. Hundreds of thousands of people are passing through LAX this week as the holiday travel rush is now in full swing. That's a live picture of LAX right there. The weather here is beautiful, but where passengers are headed may be a different story. A bomb cyclone is expected to hit much of the country this week and could disrupt holiday travel plans for millions. KTLA's Chris Wolf live at LAX tonight. Chris. That's right, Micah, Cher, Californians are taking to the skies and the roads this year in record numbers post-pandemic. Of course, our weather, as you said, is warm and moderate and mild right now. But the truth is, a bomb cyclone elsewhere could blow up your holiday travel plans. The timing couldn't be worse. Days before Christmas, as nearly 100...